Well, recently I met a, a PhD student uh, who was in final year, and he told me like he applied for uh, almost a dozens of uh, lab for a post of position, but he did not got any kind of report. So uh, I, can, I I know that this this process can be frustrating or even daunting. This task is like the whole task, this the whole process is like a troublesome process, and it takes a lot of time. It requires a lot of uh, investment of thinking or your habit it will make you uh, think like you are not worth some time so that's my that might be the reason that you are not getting uh, the regard but uh, in this video i will tell you what are the uh, what are the important factors uh, generally a professor consider uh, while recruiting a postdoc or you can say what are the important characteristics Potential postdoc candidates should have uh, just before, just before after, just before uh, at the verge of graduation or uh, from PhD or just after the PhD. First is curiosity and uh, the passion for the research. In general, a professor look for a gen a, a, a genuinely interested PhD, uh, a genuinely interested PhD graduates those who have genuine interest in that particular field and uh, they should have a very specific research which is being uh, conducted in their lab or it should match to the, with their profile and they generally look those who are already familiar with those kind of work so it's very very important while searching for a postdoc position it's very important to use those keywords which is which has been used in that particular uh, advertisement or by the recruiter or recruiter those who are hiring for that particular person so use those keywords for example if you are going to work in a neuroscience lab so try to use those keywords which have been uh, which have been used by those researchers who are already in the lab uh, you can check for this you can check your profile uh, online profile and second is independence and self motivation they always look for those who need minimum guidance or uh, like uh, they don't need to uh, always spend a lot of time to teach them so that's why most of the pis they look for a post of candidate those who are independent in thinking or even doing the work and they have the ability to work independently and they are self motivated and they, are, they have like a willingness to take the initiative and uh, and they uh, and they are willing to lead the project by themselves so uh, the self motivation as well as the independence these are the two other important factors which generally uh, a pi considers for while recruiting and uh, and of course there should be a, a, a there should be a strong communication skill because effective communication skill is quite crucial by, like to be it in uh, written terms or if it, in, if it is in verbal uh, so that you can convey your message or ideas or even results to a scientific community or even when you are talk or even when you are talking in a personal meeting or even in any any research lab meeting so that's why strong communication is also very very crucial uh, factor next comes creativity and problem solving very uh, so most of the pis they need uh, they look for hard working and less uh, but, but, uh, uh, but of course uh, a lot of uh, some scientists they look for creative people or even those who can solve the problem uh, they, they generally look for those who have the ability to think creatively and approach the problems from different angles like by using multidisciplinary so approaches as well as willing to learn and uh, apply that uh, uh, in that system uh, like because we because one person cannot know everything but it is very crucial that he or she is willing to learn new things and apply uh, to solve their problem next is productivity and potential uh, as well as the time management most of the pi look for self motivated and independent postdoc but they also look for those who are highly productive for example you are very curious and you are very much creative but you are not willing to do bench work or even uh, not willing to do a lot of experiment in that case they look for the strong publication record and potential to contribute significantly to the research project 
So that's why they generally ask for those who have done, uh, those who have published the first author research article, not just using uh, some in CD for experiments. They, 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 do, they look really what you have contributed for or what kind of uh, skills you have uh, gathered while doing this work. Because when you first author publication, that, de that itself demonstrates that you are capable of doing a lot of things independently uh, with a minimum, minimum guidance. So, uh, these are the important uh, important factors. Uh, what a PI look for in a potential postdoc candidate. So I hope you like this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Pharmacy standards.